Evening Jacket, Saturday the 15th of November. In your last video, Jack, you spoke about the beetle in the Namib desert that inspired a new water gathering solution in Ethiopia. That got me thinking, people have this misconception that humans are the most evolved animals on the earth. But if we're still copying other animals, what's that about? Also, Jack, you mentioned Elon Musk's newest project to bring affordable broadband to the world. That man may have way too much money, but he definitely knows what to do with it and he's very good at it. Whilst we're on the subject of the internet, Jack, I wanted to talk about Barack Obama and how he stood up for net neutrality. In the US and other developed parts of the world, there are internet service providers that want to charge more for websites that use more bandwidth, or they face their services being slowed down dramatically. So essentially what this means is that people that pay more get a faster service, which may, on first glance, seem fair. But I guess that depends on your definition of fair. To me, it seems unfair that the only sites that can give a good service are those that can afford it. We, Barack and I, believe that this would lead to the fashion of the rich getting richer and the poor getting poorer, would spread to the internet, just like everything else in the 21st century. And while I wouldn't like to speak for Tim Berners-Lee himself, as the inventor of the internet and a guy that made no money from doing so, I'm sure this is not what he wanted to see from the internet, and I know that he's a huge supporter of net neutrality also. And while Barack Obama's trying to force the FCC to do something about it, he doesn't really have much power anymore, especially there. But as the leader of the free world, I hope he still has some influence. So fingers crossed. Jack, one of the problems that we have as part-time YouTubers is that we have to make these videos when we have time. So sometimes it's not always on the day that they get released, which I think was the case for your video this week. I'm not blaming you, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. All I'm saying is that you might have missed a piece of news that would be absolute classic Jack news. A couple of weeks ago, Jack, you spoke about the rosette... Oh my god, my sister just mooned me. Stop it, please, please stop, please. Never turn into your mother, Arnold. In a video of yours a couple of weeks ago, you spoke about the Rosetta mission with the Philae lander that was going to land on 67P. I've heard there was some issue with the landing, but it still sounds like it was an incredible achievement, so I'd love to hear more. In other news, this week on Wednesday, Jack, I played beach volleyball for the first time ever, and I didn't break anything. Yay! And also, I wasn't too terrible, but I think maybe being 9 metres tall, as you quite rightly said, is quite helpful. My final piece of good news, Jack... Oh, cut. No, she's just locked me out. She's just locked me out. My final piece of good news, Jack, is that this morning I managed to dress my baby niece for the first time ever. So, yay! And I didn't break her. Jack, I'll see you on Wednesday. <laughs> That's what I have to deal with.